What if I told you that you could create 100 sellable affirmation cards in under 10 minutes without writing a single quote yourself? If you're still duplicating Canva pages one by one, then this video is going to blow your mind. I'm showing you how to use ChatGPT and Canva's bulk create process to automate this all for you. It's so super simply. Perfect for creating products for Etsy, your website, or wherever else you sell digital products online. So without further ado, let's jump in. And if you're new here, hey friends, it's Roxy, and I help digital product creators like yourself to design smarter, sell faster, and stand out on platforms like Etsy, your own site, and anywhere else you want to shine online. Oh, and lastly, if you're planning to list your own set of affirmation cards after this video, then I've linked a free set of affirmation card mock-up templates down below to make your final product listings look really professional with almost zero effort. But make sure you visit the link in the description to get access to this for free. So let's start with the big picture. Affirmation cards, especially on Etsy, sell super duper well, really popular, high traffic. People are looking for affirmation cards of all shapes and sizes for various different use cases. And um, there are so many audiences looking for products such as these. And what this method does is it basically combines ChatGPT and Canva to create dozens of printable affirmation cards in minutes. We will be using AI to create those affirmations and then we'll design one smart template in Canva and then let Canva auto fill every single extra card for you. So whether you're selling affirmation cards on their own or you're bundling them up into journals or even offering them as lead magnets, this is gonna be one of the fastest ways to create something beautiful and sellable. All right, so first up, we are gonna generate our affirmations. Now, you can definitely use the regular ChatGPT. Um, it is perfectly capable. And you might write something like, write 100 daily affirmations for, let's say, um, birthing mothers. That's actually affirmations for pregnant mums is actually a really um, high traffic niche and really popular. So I'm just going to type that in. And then we are just going to wait a second for ChatGPT to do some thinking. And then we can see here are 100 daily affirmations for birthing mums, thoughtfully crafted to provide strength, calm, empowerment, and confidence during pregnancy, labor, and birth. These affirmations can be used one per day, repeated during meditation, written in journals, or displays as visual reminders. So it's done a really good job of having a think about that and creating, coming back with some um, affirmations that are perfectly decent and perfectly usable for our use case. But the only thing is, if you've used ChatGPT for content before, you know that sometimes it can feel a little robotic. And that's why I have created this custom GPT. It's called a Forge GPT. And it has basically been custom trained to generate meaningful magnetic affirmations that are really aligned with your specific audience and product use case. It's what I personally use when I want affirmation cards that feel elevated and emotionally on point and not generic. That's the thing now. We have AI at our fingertips and now it's putting in that extra effort to then create something that doesn't sound like AI. That's what we're all now trying to do. And with this GPT, I've really um, trained it and retrained it and given it multiple use cases in order for it to then really come back with something that meets the mark. So let me just quickly show you um, what we would do with this. So we click start. So here we go. It says, beautiful, let's begin. Just share your idea, even if it's rough or half formed. For example, you might say something like, I want affirmation for burned out months, or I need something sp spiritual for people going through grief, or something like, can you help with confidence affirmations for LGBTQ plus teens? Tell me what you're thinking, who it's for, what they're going through, or what feeling you want to evoke, and I'll guide us from there. Now, that introduction is really letting you know that this is well-trained and it's really going to hone in on what those affirmations are trying to achieve. And it's really gonna tap into that audience's niche and needs. So I'm just gonna copy and paste what we had from our previous when we're just using the normal version of ChatGPT. And I just need, so I'm gonna put 100 daily affirmations for birthing mums. So now it's then begun to ask us context questions. 
And so this is where it's now uncovering and diving a bit deeper in order to create affirmations that are really aligned. So it's asking our stage of pregnancy, are these ones in the third trimester approaching labor of spread across pregnancy and postpartum? Um, what is their emotional focus? Are we emphasizing calm, courage, body trust, connection to baby, release of fear or something else? Do we want the tone to be the tone of voice to be soothing and gentle, empowering and strong, spiritual and sacred or another vibe? Um, the format, will we be using these as part of a daily countdown, a mirror mantra, journaling, app notification or something else? And then do we want any spiritual or cultural lenses? Should we provide um, references to divine feminine, nature cycles, ancestral wisdom, etc.? And this is just from me inputting this um, initial instruction, which is I need 100 daily affirmation for birthing mums. And when I've done this, I'm just looking for affirmation for birthing mums. But this GPT has really allowed me to think deeper and, you know, ask me questions that I would never have thought of and about audience sub niches. So where it says, are there any spiritual cultural lenses? That isn't something I may have actually thought of to begin with. And so it's just given me a whole nother um, perspective when creating these affirmations. And it just actually has given me more ideas of different sets of affirmation cards that we could create that are targeting birthing mums. So, you know, birthing mums who have that, want that divine feminine, that spiritual um, kind of perspective on it, or ancestral wisdom would never have thought of that. Um, emotional focus, are we emphasizing calm, courage, body trust? So this has now given us some really great food for thought and something that we wouldn't have gotten with um, when we're just using the more basic form of chat GPT. So now when we are carrying on with this, I'm just going to answer these questions actually quite basically because I just want this GPT to just to give us a mix of different affirmations. So the stage of pregnancy, um, I'm going to say spread across pregnancy and postpartum. So I'm just going to type that there, pregnancy and postpartum. And then for question two, emotional focus. Are we emphasizing calm, courage, body trust? I actually would like there to be reference to all of these emotional focuses. So I'm going to say a mixture. But obviously, if you have something in mind or you actually want them to just be mainly calm or mainly courageous or mainly to um, increase body trust or connection to baby, then you would say that as well. Would you like the voice to be soothing and gentle, empowering and strong? I kind of would like it to be. I'm going to say spiritual and sacred because I'm just quite intrigued to see what types of um, affirmations it will come back with. Format used. Um, this is going to be a daily countdown. But mirror mantra could be a good one. So maybe we might want daily countdown and mirror mantra as well. But as you can see, there are so many different variations and so many different rabbit holes we can go down just with these birthing affirmations for mum. Lastly, any spiritual or cultural lens. I, I'm going to go for ancestral wisdom because that's really piqued my interest. So now we've put in those options that ChatGPT has kind of, um, those ideas that ChatGPT has pulled back the layers and allowed us to just really go in depth with. And I'm going to now see what we come back with. So now we've put in all those options and given app ChatGPT that context. It's now said, beautiful, thank you. This gives me a rich emotional palette to work with. You're asking for 100 daily affirmations for birthing mums meant to span pregnancy through postpartum, blending emotional tones um, and delivered in a spiritual and sacred voice rooted in ancestral wisdom. These will be used um, daily as daily countdown affirmations and spoken mantras. And then now what, what it's done is it's now gone off and created a prompt that we can then put back into ChatGPT in order to create these. So this is the prompt it's come up with. Act as an affirmation designer with deep experience supporting mothers through pregnancy, labor, and early postpartum. Um, and now it's given us the audience slant, the theme and purpose, the emotional outcome. So now we've got this really in-depth, um, you know, really great prompt here. We're just gonna now copy that and then open a new chat and paste that here. And then we will see what ChatGPT then comes back with. So now it's thinking. It's taken into account everything that we've asked. And so here is a lovingly crafted set of 100 sacred 
affirmations for birthing mothers, each one a gentle invocation, mantra or prayer to guide her through the profound journey from early pregnancy through postpartum recovery. So as you can see now, um, this is days one to 30, early pregnancy, rooting into the sacred journey. And we can see these affirmations. My body is a sacred vessel chosen to carry life. I breathe in calm. I breathe out trust. My ancestors walk with me. I'm never alone. I'm the fertile soil when love takes root. These are absolutely beautiful affirmations. And you can really see where they are um, at taking that inspiration, that ancestral inspiration, spiritual inspiration in them. And that's weaved into these affirmations. Um, as you can see, these are not generic boring affirmations they are really really lovely my belly is a temple a womb a cradle of stars i embody fierce softness and that's the beauty of this particular gpt that i've been able to um, train it is going to be amazing for you to create affirmations in any for any purpose you can think of so now moving on we have now our 100 almost 100 affirmations here we are still just waiting for it to get through but it has as you can see it's just divided them all up into all the various trimesters um ending up with days 91 to 100 postpartum integration and rebirth obviously one thing to note is that i have asked for just 100 affirmations but pregnancy lasts more than 100 days but um this this is just a really great starting point and all you would then ask is for it to then continue to create them that I think it's for you I think pregnancy is about 280 days roughly so you just want it to add more to each of those trimesters but for sake of time I'm just going to show you what we're going to do next so we are going to copy all of these and now we're going to hop on over to Canva so the bulk create feature I'm going to show you is only available in Canva Pro, I believe. But Canva Pro is a fantastic investment if you are really looking to level up your design skills and your digital product empire, if that's what you're, that's what you're trying to do. So now we are going to click custom size. And for this, I'm actually going to go for a bigger size because then if we go for that larger size, when we need to resize it, it's going to just make it easier because people like different types of affirmation card sizes so there is 3.5 by 4.5 inches or we could do 5 by 7 inches or 2.75 by 3.75 but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11 in order to then be able to really easily resize it for um, those different purposes there's something about starting with a bigger size and um, it just makes it easier to make it smaller if you've got any questions about that, leave them down in the comments below if I haven't explained that properly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a really um, beautiful but simple design. Um, I found that with affirmation cards, simpler is better. And people are really looking for that powerful affirmation. And that's what we know we already have. So first up, I'm going to um, put a placeholder for where we're going to have our text. So I'm going to click T for text. And I'm actually going to just have it around this area here. And I'm going to go back to those affirmations, actually. And I'm just going to choose the longest one because then that allows me to then get the spacing as close to um, what we need as possible. So let me see. This one's quite a long affirmation here. This one looks like it could be longer, though. So I'm going to just copy and paste that here because then it just gives me a better um, idea as to what it would look like when it's on that actual card. So I'm just going to put that in the middle. I birth as my ancestors did with courage, song and soul. And now we can put our design around the edge. So I'm going to choose floral line art. Something quite minimal. That's really nice. Actually, I've just seen something else I like the look of. Um, I quite like this. And so then I would just bring that to the top. And then just have some kind of foliage around the sides, I think. Turn that there. And then just give that a bit of an angle as well. 
make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so now we have our initial um, our initial template there. Just really simple, um, really honing in on that prompt. We will then, uh, when we finish, we'll maybe bring some more color into the back as well. So now we've got our 100 affirmations, bearing in mind um, you can make as many more of these as you like, but we're just doing 100 for now. I'm just gonna copy those. And then we're gonna open up a Google spreadsheet and paste those there. And then I'm going to now click form, not format, data. I'm gonna click data cleanup and I'm gonna say remove duplicates. And that's just to remove the spaces and the gaps in between those. I'm gonna delete that row. I'm also gonna delete the rows that have reference to the days. So as we can see, it says days 91 to 100. And I'm just gonna delete those rows and then just format everything so that it all looks the same, the same sizing and things like that. So now we have our affirmations here. We're going to go over to our design. And um, so we designed this kind of that minimalist style, but I'm actually going to add a kind of watercolor kind of background, I think, just to give it a pop of color. So um, we're gonna click free. We're gonna look at graphics and we're just gonna see if there's anything quite nice and calming that we can just have in the back as well. I think that's quite nice. So I will then click set image as background and that looks really nice. Um, and I think this will be our base framework. This will be our base design. And like I said, because I've chosen the longest affirmation, hopefully what that means is it will then just allow that design to, we won't have to make too many edits after we've created everything. The last thing I'll actually do is change the font. Um, I like to use seasons a lot. I just really like the look and feel, the vibe of this particular um, font style. And I'm just going to then do my last tweaks. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to take these affirmations, all of these, copy, and then we are going to go over to our bulk create section here. We are going to, and if you don't have access to the bulk create, you just go to apps down the side and then type in bulk create and it will bring it up for you. And now we're in here, we're going to up enter data manually. So we're going to enter data manually and we're just gonna paste all of those prompt, all of those affirmations into this, um, this data set here. Now we're gonna click done and we are going to then click these words, click connect data and then it allows us to connect it to this section, um, these affirmations here. You can then disconnect it if you don't want it to connect to that particular one, but this is what we want it connected to. Now we click continue and we can see it's given us a rundown of all the affirmations that we're gonna be creating. And now it's given us the option to generate 100 designs, which we're gonna do now. And so now it said at the top, design created and saved to your products, view in folder. Okay, so as you can see now, we've got this design here, just clicking that open. And as you can see, if I put it on grid view, so now, as you can see, we've got these designs generated. Um, and all you would now do is you would then click share and you download those either as PNG or as a PDF for printing. And like I said, this is an 8.5 by 11 um, size, but the thing is, is because we've gone bigger, it's going to make it really easy to um, create smaller and, you know, different variations of this size as well, without having to do too many design headaches and edits as well. So from here, you can list this on Etsy, Gumroad, Shopify, your website, um, or even bundle them into digital journals or mobile wallpapers, social media, there is so much you're going to be able to do with these ready-made bulk generated affirmations. So that's how you go from blank Canva page to 100 beautiful affirmations using AI and automation. And if you want to skip the final design headache, which is actually getting your product listed, then don't forget to grab your free mock-up template pack, which is linked in the description below. And lastly, if you've enjoyed um, me demonstrating how to generate really um, aligned affirmations that feel truly custom, then make sure you go and check out my Affirma Forge GPT, which is inside my $9 membership. It's the same tool I use to make these affirmations that actually connect and not just fill space and are not generic. So we've come to the end. 
hit the like button if this helped you and let me know in the comments what kind of digital product you're working on next. I've got so many Canva and Etsy tutorials coming up and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.